Hey everyone, I'm Ash Vandalay, and if you're watching this right now, it means the embargo has lifted on the NDA that I signed to play F1 Manager 22 for you right now. Shout out to Frontier Developments Inc. for sending me F1 Manager 22 a little bit early so I can get some exclusive content and show it to you right now. So sit back and relax and enjoy the first 10 minutes or a little bit more of F1 Manager 22. Also, I am probably live right now on Twitch playing F1 Manager 22 before it comes out for pre-release for everyone who pre-ordered the game. So come and check us out on twitch.tv slash Ash Vandalay. What an epic intro. What kind of game was I playing? It looks a lot like, uh, I mean, it exactly is the intro to the F1 racing game. So let's um, jump right in. Let's do New Career. I have not played this yet. Oh, I'm going to need subtitles. Guys, when you reach 30, you just need subtitles. Formula One, a sport that spans hearts, minds, and nations, where the 20 best drivers in the world come together to take on some of the world's most historic circuits. And that legacy continues today. The 2021 championship was thrilling from start to finish, and 2022 is set to be even better. New regulations will usher in an age of pioneering changes. New driving talent alongside returning champions will be dueling it out to the bitter end. The pressure will be on the team principals in the upcoming season as they manage their drivers, their cars, and the whole team to push to victory. This is not a challenge for the faint-hearted. This is Formula One. Ooh, choose a team. Oh, that front car looks incredible. High team rating. Season objective third. I, I feel like we could do third. Starting balance is high. I love money. Team performance. The team's current rankings compared to the rest of the grid. Car performance is third out of ten. Driver is first out of ten. Staff is third. Headquarters quality. Oh, I wonder how headquarters quality is going to affect that. All right, employees. Ooh, biography. The graphics look great. Wait, what was Mercedes? So this is all two out of 10 and first out of 10. Wait, what's the difference between headquarters quality between Mercedes and, okay, that's fine. That's fine, we'll get into it. And surely, but not always lastly. Has joined F1 back in How do I want to play this? Hmm. I feel like if I go with Mercedes or Red Bull, I just have a high starting balance, but I feel there's a lot of pressure because they want to be first or constructors. I think I got to go medium budget. I think we got to do... Oh, Alpine has a high budget. They just want to be fourth. Ah, I think I'm going to do McLaren. I, I feel it's a medium budget, but I can do this. Ooh, team name. Easy. Fandalay Industries, baby. Oh, no. We'll just call it that. Surname. First time guidance. Yes, please. Let's go. Hi there. Nice to meet you. I'm Hello. Audrey Mensa, one of the team's senior engineers. We have a strong driver line up here at McLaren and a great team behind the scenes. Am I a new hire? Is there onboarding? As our new team principal, oh, thank you. You're responsible for a lot of aspects of the team. I don't really look at my bank account because I just hope everything's okay. This is not going to go well. What's medium confidence? I guess they hired me. So that's what medium confidence is. You're like, we hired you. Do something. Just don't lose his money. Uh, season objective, fifth or above. Long-term objective, constructor's championship. Why did they hire me? They should have just hired Audrey. She's crushing it right now. She knows everything. Why would you need a new hire? Inbox. Oh, thank you, Audrey. Welcome to the team. Calendar. This is your calendar for the month. I got 25 mil. I should just make a run for it. This is where you carry out your final preparations for the next race. We'll come back here later. One of my favorite places. Oh. This is where the car Oh, is man. And where we develop and store our car parts. This is where you'll find relevant information on the team's drivers and reserve driver. I hope I don't have to fire anyone. Do I get to fire someone? From here, you can see all the team's facilities. 
from the staff buildings to the car park development centers. Building team facilities impact every area of your team from the quality of your car to the rate of your driver's improvement. So yeah, we need good lunch facilities. Uh, building a new facility takes time and money. That makes sense. Upgrading, increase their monthly upkeep costs. Refurbishing over time facilities will degrade and their effectiveness reduce. Refurbishing a facility will restore its effectiveness. All right. Is there going to be a moment where it's like, I am the board. I am the Senate. Oh, okay. We have good rating. Board budget. Monthly payments. All right, I am overwhelmed. <laughs> they want me to take care of facilities, run a race, or like manage a race, excuse me, manage finances, manage staff. Sheesh. No wonder everyone ages like 100 years and they become team principal. What am I losing? Oh, okay, this makes sense. Prize money. Oh, that's correct. Cost cap. Wow, this is, this is pretty cool. Did you see that? Looks like I need sponsors. This obligation is necessary to secure a sponsorship. Okay, let's go home. I feel like I should, it says today. Sponsorship obligation. Okay, maybe not. I'm just gonna click next. It's no longer your first day. <laughs> oh shit. We'll have you on top of things in no time. I think I'm ready. Oh well, well, well. Hello. Allow me to introduce to you, introduce you to our talented development team and Watkins, Michelle Coomer. They will lead their expertise to new car parts. Great sponsorship obligations. Let's go, baby. Uh, I just realized you joined the team a little too late to negotiate our sponsorship obligations for the season. Sponsorship is a big source of income for F1 teams. That funding is a two-way relationship. When negotiating sponsorship deals at the start of the season, we need to offer certain obligations on our side, like creating merchandise that features our sponsors and hosting sponsor events in our factory. We're committed to for season. You'll be able to negotiate them yourself next season. Okay, great. Great. Today. Looks like you've received a budget approval. Ooh. Ten thousand dollars? I mean, it's a lot of staff, I guess. Improve driver morale, improve staff. Yeah! It's not my money. So we'll just print more of it anyway. Let's go. It's here. What's our preseason? Oh, it's in two days. Okay. There's always some final work to do before we can set off. Check your inbox for the race prep report on this weekend circuit. This is your race preparation area where you'll get the team ready for the upcoming race weekend. You can also find all the information you need on the circuit we're racing on here. One thing you'll always need to do before each race weekend is setting our performance targets. These help us generate more potential rewards for the team. Number last 57, abrasiveness. High historical safety ch car chance, 100%. Pit lane time last 25 seconds. Okay, okay. Here we've got the performance targets for this coming weekend. If we meet these, we'll gain extra revenue. Each race weekend, the team sponsors will set you targets to earn extra money. Pfft, see, that 100 grand was nothing. You can also have guarantees, reduce the base payment for the weekend, but the bonus for achieving the guarantee will outweigh the reduction. Performance targets will apply to either qualifying session, the race itself, or a hot streak of finishes. All right. Yeah, I'm not a high risk, high reward kind of gal. I'm, not, I'm actually very risk adverse. I'm probably a terrible team principal. I'd rather just play it safe. Okay. If you want to offer a guarantee for this weekend, I don't. Oh, are you going to make me do it? Oh. Okay, we'll do. We'll reach Q3. Are you sure about that? reward if we meet the guarantee is good, and the potential loss doesn't seem too bad either. Thanks, Audrey. I'm going to pour an email, though. This is. Oh, uh, this number, this number, these numbers are in red, and that feels bad to me. Oh, okay. I'm all playing this now. Sorry. Don't want to jump ahead. Go to important email. Want to make sure that the team is prepared before we leave. Check the circuit info, performance targets, check out car builds. Oh, check that our car builds using the best part. Okay. Got it. Oh, I should have not skipped that. Oh, dear. Wow. This is just a lot of information. Grid average, okay, 373 point. Ooh, why is our top speed not as good? It's fine, this is the first race. Uh, this is the first race. I'm being too hard on myself. This is my first day, first race on the job. I'm fine. It's gonna be okay. They can't fire me that fast, can they? Welcome to the archipelago of Formula One. Bahrain might have a small land footprint, but it's showing its spirit right now in the grandstands. Do I not know what that word means? I thought I did. Another fantastic weekend of Grand Prix racing. Each practice, blah, blah, blah. Qualifying knockout format, race event. Teams is to pit stop strategy points. Let's do it. I'm just confused why none of these drivers are track acclimated, know anything about their car parts, are not confident about anything. Um, I want Daniel Ricciardo to be aggressive. You know what? Maybe I want Lando Norris to be aggressive. Let's just make both of them aggressive. I'm not a high risk, high reward kind of gal. 
What's the worst that can happen? So you do compounds, ooh. Car parts, great. Car setup, untested, run plan, and driving options for each driver. No, oh, this looks great. Let's just be a little aggressive, okay? During race weekends, you can decide whether you want to manage the practice sessions yourself or whether to hand over control to your team. How did we, how did we do? Our race weekend continues as we head into qualifying. While everyone will be talking about the battle for pole, there is still so much to be contested here today. Qualifying presents a tremendous opportunity for all 10 constructors and their drivers, as a strong performance now will put them in good stead for tomorrow's race. There's not much left to say, so let's get into it. Oh, come on, P12, P16, guys, 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 guys. Okay, everything I feel good with except setup confidence. Okay, nothing we can do. 